Chase Elliott. Hey, it's so good to see you. Welcome to the 2021 season. Really happy you survived the offseason, Chase, because it seems like the championship party has been going on the entire time. Because we heard that the Georgia Hall of Fame threw you a party last week. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's been been really good. I've, I've really enjoyed my time throughout the winter. Done a lot of racing that I haven't typically been doing uh, since I've been doing the NASCAR thing. So I've been super fun. Obviously, coming off a great year makes it really you know, easy to enjoy uh, the winter like that. So uh, I can't complain. Uh, we, we had a nice event at the Georgia Racing Hall of Fame, which so happens to be in Dawsonville. Uh, that they've, they've really revamped the place, and, and uh, they're currently keeping uh, some of my trophies from last year, the championship trophy and uh, my first win car, along with my dad's first win car that just got refurbished as well. So really cool stuff over there. If you ever have a chance to, to swing through, go check it out. Cool. So, uh, Chase, you mentioned that you've had a lot of fun this offseason. I have been pretty envious of what you've been doing. You've done the Snowball Derby. You've done the yeah. Chili Bowl. You've done the Rolex 24. I even saw we were in a midget the other night and somewhere in Florida. So I am pretty envious. I want to know which one have you had the most fun with? Yeah, it's been super fun. I mean, they've all honestly, they've all been really challenging for me. I haven't done as well as I would have liked. Um, in really any of it, but it's been been fun and I feel like I've learned a lot. Uh, but, you know, the, the Chili Bowl and the Rolex, to me, the, those two probably equally as, as fun and as cool. Uh, two great events, two events that I've admired and, and wanted to be a part of, just the opportunities and time, whatever timing wasn't right. But finally it was this year, and, and both of those events were super fun. So I hope I get a chance to go back and do them both again. I learned a ton. Um, and, and as you mentioned, raced uh, the USAC race here uh, down the road in Ocala last few nights and feel like I learned a lot more in the midget there so just uh yeah trying to expand my horizons a little bit and learn uh learn new things Chase you have won four consecutive road course races including when we were there at Daytona back in August but there are a lot of differences for tonight versus when we were there last year what are your thoughts on running the bush clash on the road course a race where points don't mean anything a solid finish don't mean anything the only thing that counts is that trophy yeah, I mean, I hope it, I really hope it's an exciting race. I mean, the clash, I feel like always has been exciting over the years on, on the big track. So I hope the road course um, gives that same atmosphere for, for the people watching. I think it will, uh, you know, a, a small field, really good cars, really good drivers, uh, a part of this event tonight, the random draw kind of throws a whole nother element into it. So I, I think it'll be fun. Uh, I think it's going to be challenging, you know, the road course thing, is evolving just like everything else does in this uh in this world and if you're not getting better you're not gonna you're not gonna stay uh towards the top so we as a team have to continue to improve to to perform at a high level and to have good finish and i think we're very capable of that we just got to put it all together and uh i need to step up and and improve on my end too for more great nascar on fox content subscribe to our channel it's somewhere right around here